This is the Low Pro Slingshot 302AW bag. And I just got it, so I'm just getting used to it, but I wanted to give you an idea of um, how it works and how much can be stored and that kind of thing. So far, I'm pretty impressed with the size of it. Um, this is a D600 with an 80 to 200 lens attached. Uh, that fits easily in there. And when I flip this down, that's no problem. Uh, even with that sitting there, I have easily enough room. Here's a medium lens. There's a wide angle lens, no problem there. And I still have three more areas here that I could easily fit flashes, other lenses or, or other gear. Um, so there's all sorts of room in here. And what's interesting is I also managed on this top section, I'm not sure if, if it's designed for it, but here's another uh, camera body. This is a D7000 with a wide angle lens attached. There's easily enough room in there for that. So probably if I was using this, I'd, I'd uh, take this lens off and store it in here. But there's easily room here for a second body and other gear besides. In this top section you have an area here, maybe for cables or other little gear. This flip down section here, place for camera cards, Velcro. Uh, these sections in here are easily reconfigurable. Um, this is basically how it came. I think there was an extra section here actually. Uh, but there's all sorts of room in here to reconfigure as you might need it. If you flip this down, you have more room on top here, a section here for um, you know, business cards, pens and pencils, uh, maybe camera cards in there as well. Um, and the way this uh, unit works is this section here zips up. You, you do have um, quick release devices here to keep everything sturdy. But when it's on you, you can kind of flip this around on your back and this thing flips up that much and you have access to get your camera out quickly. So that's one thing I like about this. Um, it's not as easy as a top loader, but it's, it's nearly as good um, and it holds a lot more gear. Let me show you what that looks on me. Just to give you a close up of the back of this thing, Here's the strap that goes around uh, your uh, shoulder. This is a waist strap which you can use or, or keep um, you know, hidden behind you. There is a weather cover in here to pull out. Um, I never use those. I usually use um, a, a spray silicone designed for camping gear and I spray my bags with that and that keeps it pretty much waterproof. Uh, but if you got an emergency that is there to pull out. Uh, so overall, it's a very sturdy bag, it seems. Um, oh, the other thing I, I didn't mention is there's a, um, a place here, uh, quick release, and um, some straps here for a tripod, which is nice. So it, it's well designed. Um, it's fairly well balanced. Um, it's a fairly big bag. I mean, it holds two bodies and lenses and flashes, and, and it's got a lot of room in there, so you'd expect the size to be uh, bigger. Uh, but like I said, it's pretty well balanced, and um, I'm happy with it so far. We'll see how it works long term.